Well, up to this point, Disney Cruise Line has been very kind of low-key or very quiet about their new ships, the Disney Wish, and the others to follow in that Triton class. But over the weekend, we actually had our first live look at the ship, even though it wasn't put together. But let's take a look at it. What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon. If you like cruise news, cruise vlogs, and ship tours, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. So like I said, Disney's been very quiet about the Disney Wish and the other Triton class ships. All we really know is that they're going to be around 135 to 140,000 tons, which is very similar in size to the Dream class or the Dream and the Fantasy. And not only that, they're also going to be very similar in looks as well. The only real difference is that, at least for visuals, there's going to be an extra one or two decks up in the front. And on the sides of the ship, there's also like two curves on the where the balconies are, kind of. As you can kind of see in this picture, that's kind of what I'm talking about. But overall, they look very similar to the Dream Class ships, which is good because those are really great ships and all. But um, very strange that they would go pretty much for an exact same design. I would almost compare this to like the Dream Class versus the Vista Class and Carnival Cruise Line. You know, there's not really much difference, but they are great ships, so I'm okay with it. Besides it being announced that it was delayed, the Disney Wish has had like zero construction updates to this point. But over the weekend, we finally got our first real picture of the actual ship itself. Again, like I said in the intro, it was it's not put together, but... It's one of the main giant blocks, or what they call the mega blocks. So just about a week or two ago, Odyssey of the Seas was floated out and went up the River Ems for the river conveyance to do her sea trials. And when that took place, the Aida Cosma, which is the sister ship to the Aida Nova, and similar to the Carnival Mardi Gras, basically the same exact ship and same class. But that ship went into the building hall where Odyssey was to be uh, put together. All those mega blocks for that ship were already put together. That way, when they moved in, all they have to do is pretty much piece them all together. But now that Odyssey is gone, Aida Cosma has the dock to herself. This made room for the first mega block of the Disney Wish. So whenever the Cosma went in, the first mega block of the Disney Wish finally came out. And so this mega block is going to sit outside for the next six months or so while the other mega blocks are being put into place. And then whenever it comes time for Aida Cosma to float out and be conveyed up the river, Disney Wish will be put in for the final stages of construction. This is really exciting because we will likely see the Disney Wish all completed within about another year or so. Aida Cosma is supposed to be finished later this year in the fall or so. So once that takes place, we're going to start seeing like the ship start becoming more and more of a ship instead of just these giant mega blocks. I think there's typically two to three of these mega blocks that are built, so the first one of Disney Wish is all put together, and that first mega block is sitting in the outdoor area of the shipyard. There's also some scaffolding around. It looks like they're actually building up the funnels now. Typically in that shipyard, the funnels are built last, but because the ship is a lot smaller than what they're building normally, like normally the ships are you know, 160, 170, even 180,000 tons, and usually a very, very tall ships. But because Disney Wish is such smaller than the normal ships that are coming out of the shipyard, it looks like they'll be able to. Help. It looks like they'd be able to get those funnels in and out of the building hall with no problem, even if they are installed before even pulling the ship out. Which I believe is what they did with the the Dream and the Fantasy. So not surprising, but just interesting compared comparing it to other ships. Normally the funnel is the last thing to go on. But anyways, that's today's construction update of Disney Wish. It's not much of an update, but it is a finally we got like a real look at the ship rather than just a rendering, even though it's not the full thing. But anyways, what are your thoughts are down below? Are you excited for Disney Wish? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. If you don't already and you want to stay up to date with the latest of cruise news, hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.